Um, just growing up, you know, uh, my dad was always in the gym, so I just always wanted to go to the gym with him. I'm, he always told me from when I was a little kid, I always just was attached anytime he went to the gym. So I feel like as soon as I could walk, it was the first thing I wanted to do was play basketball and shoot and try to dunk. And, you know, basketball has been in my life since I was one, one years old. This guy's got one of the more impressive shots in college basketball. He's absolutely one of the best in all of America shooting basketball. Bonnie Brooks. Brooks buries it. Brooks from the wing. No, it was definitely something I worked on. Um, in high school, I was kind of, you know, I was a little more athletic than everyone else, so I, I didn't really have to do it, but... Once I got to college, everyone was a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger and faster. So I just really repped, you know, on the gun, just hours and hours of just getting a lot of shots up. And, you know, over the over my three years in college, you know, my shot really developed into my, my best weapon. And, um, you know, it's just something I'm going to continue to emphasize, continue to work on and continue to expand with. Man, it, it was great. You know, our practices were really intense, but um, off the court, you know, he was... He was really big on building a relationship with you, you know, so, um, you know, really just reaching out to you, making sure you were good, making sure you're grasping everything well so that when you go into practice, you feel like you're really a part of a family. You know, it's not just a school. You're a family when you're at the University of Houston. So it was great. My three years there. Yeah. You know, I just tried to embrace my role. You know, um, we had a really good team that year. So whatever coach needed me to do, you know, I was open to it. I wasn't, you know, my ego didn't get it away of like I needed to start or played a certain amount of minutes, you know, um, whatever coach think we needed he needed me to do to win the game that's what I tried to do my absolute best at and it also allows you to get a feel of the game see how it's being played you know so you can you know mentally prepare yourself before you go into the game under six minutes to play Robinson with five Brooks fire got it point it had a funny rotation on it to that ball in the air Junior will trigger it little corner J Brooks Six from the field, we are knotted up at 51 apiece. This is where the space into the floor. Wow, look at this. Brooks! <laughs> he sticks it from deep. He points five three pointers in the second half. The curl here. I look at this. Oh, you just stand there and stand still, shoot. They catch and shoot as well as anybody in. Yeah, I mean, our third season, we just, we had a lot of depth. So we pretty much had 10 starters, you know, and um, so when we subbed five guys on, it was like we never lost a beat, and um, I feel like that depth really helped us get that far, and we all held each other accountable. We really pushed each other to get better, and, um, you know, we made a good run that year, and, you know, a tough shot beat us at the end of the season, but, you know, we had a, we had a really good really good year that year, and we had a really great team, so we, we did a lot of things for, the, for that school that year. Not really a surprise because I really didn't expect to get drafted. I was just kind of betting on myself. You know, I was like, man, I know I'm good enough to get here. And all I need is one opportunity. And, you know, whether I was drafted or undrafted, it didn't really matter to me. It was just I just need to get a foot in the door so that I can try to make a name for myself. Yeah, you know, it's just tough, you know, with all the different things that go into, you know, being a full time NBA player. And, you know, I got a taste of it a little bit, you know, being at there. And um, I just wasn't able to completely kick my kick my door, kick my foot through the door. But, um, you know, I'm happy to start my European career here and I'm super excited to be a part of this organization. And hopefully we can go win some games this year. Um, you know, my offense, you know, offensively just reading, you know, reading and reacting to things a little bit faster. Um, I think I'm a pretty good, you know, ball, off ball player and, um, you know, maybe playing out of pick and roll a little bit. Um, defensively, just my off ball awareness, you know, not getting back cut, little things like that. And then um, just my ball pressure when I'm guarding a person dribbling and just making sure that they're staying in front of me and not giving up any angles. Yeah, I met Keith probably three years ago. Um, he saw me working out at a, at a gym and he was like, man, come play one-on-one -on -one with me. And so I went with his trainer. And um, ever since then, you know, we've kind of just been keeping in touch. He um, worked out with me a couple times last season, or last off season, I should say. And, um, you know, gave me some advice, gave me some tips on how to, you know, just take advantage of situations to create advantages for my team and myself. So. Um, you know, me and Keith talk at least once a week, so he's a good, a great role model for me, you know, and someone that I can I can look up to when I need advice or if I need, um, you know, just help with anything. Yeah, he was excited. When I told him, when I texted him that I signed, he was super excited. He was like, I'm going to love it. He gave me some words of advice and just how to adjust, but, um, you know, he was super excited for me, and he said it's a great opportunity, so. I'm not really sure where to set my expectations because I've never played over here, so to me it's kind of like my first time 
you know, just kind of getting a reading of everything. But I think we have a really good group. And I think if we really come together that we can do a lot of big things this year. And, um, you know, hopefully we can go out there, we could gel fast and just get out there and get to competing against other teams and, and rack some wins up. Not, nothing particular yet, I'm sure it'll come, but, um, you know, right now he's just telling me to be aggressive, be confident and just play hard and, you know, the rest will take care of itself. Uh, <laughs> um, just because, I, you know, I'm just going to take it as based off how I was raised. You know, I, I grew up in a great family. Um, you know, we have a lot of, you know, um, like our traits are just really caring and family oriented. So, um, you know, maybe those things were what he meant when he said that.